Hello, um, I'm in my gallery space. Gosh, my face is really white on here. This is bizarrely white. Oh, there I am. Hello. Um, and, uh, I've got some visitors today um, from local, local online media, and I just thought I'd bring them over here to introduce themselves, and then you can watch us talking for a bit, which may be really boring. Sorry. Hello, come over and say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, I'm Mrs. Ank. Hi, Mr. Ank. Um, well, <laughs> sorry, the names, the names are from their uh, Twitter accounts. They, yeah, we do, we do a uh, local blog. Um, we live in Tunbridge, Wales. We love Tunbridge, Wales. Um, Anchor.blogs.com yeah. is, uh, visit it and uh, find out what it's about. And we're here to interview Louise about her lovely pieces and to take some pictures. And have coffee. And have lovely coffee. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk for a bit. This, this may be really boring. Sorry, so I might turn it off. Okay. Right. It, it doesn't matter if we're on camera because they can hear us anyway. So, what would you like to look at? Well, I'm looking at... Um, this is Dame Kelly Holmes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, she's in cold cast brass. I think you want to look at Beth Tweddle's bum. Oi! <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're on, we're on the line. <laughs> sorry, Beth. Well, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't mind. Well, she probably doesn't mind being beautiful. No, we'll move the hand that way. Let's see. It's really funny doing these things because I... Oh, actually, if you stand behind that, you can have your head behind your head. Oh, look at that look. <laughs> look, that's you I've with Darren's on. body. You're wow, now, fantastic. You're now, you're now a, a world champion swimmer. Thanks, Darren. That shouldn't be attractive, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a picture of Beth in between. That's not Beth. So, Sorry, Dane, 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 Dane Kelly. Kelly. So, what was um? Why did um, Dane Kelly choose these images? Because she got her gold medals at Athens, and she wanted it to be based on ancient Athens. Ah, oh, she said it was. She said it was really exciting getting her medals at the place where the classical Olympics started, and so she chose to have all the things. And she she specifically wanted Nike. We need God as a victory, so I'll just show the camera now. Here we go. Oof, excuse me. Sorry, there's Nike. There. Um, she wanted to have Nike on it because that Nike was on both the medals. And I think in the um, modern period of the Olympic Games, Nike's actually been on every every medal. Mm. And. Um, and then I put this, this is a, a temple that's actually a Turkish temple, but it was built by the Greeks. Oh, okay. And it was um, devoted to nymphs, the daughters, uh, it, they're called Nereus, and they're the daughters of Neptune, and they could run, they were so fast they could run across water. So I thought, well, that's really that's yeah. Kelly. That's that's her, yeah, yeah and that's actually that, yeah. one of them there. Unfortunately, they're, they're all headless. I, I went up to the British Museum. And they're in the collection there, but they're all headless. And then you probably know the viscous thrower mm -hmm. that's at the v &A, And he was on the 1948 London Olympic Games poster. So I wanted him on there. And then these are parts of the Parthenon that were... Oh, no, that's part of the Parthenon. That was part of the original Olympic Stadium. And then the horse there was part of the Elgin Marbles that was from the Parthenon. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wanted him on there because at the time of the um, a time of the Greek Olympics, the equine pursuits were considered as important as the track events. Whereas now we tend to be more focused on track. Mm -hmm. I mean the other things as well, but we, we tend to focus a lot on field events anyway. You can see the real difference now on the backs between the mm. boys and the girls. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean the men the men are Definitely much the girls more are a lot lighter, aren't they? Yeah. I did, I, I had this piece here was um, Stacy. she's my main model and she's a fitness instructor and I produced this back a couple of years ago and uh, in fact the YouTube I have of casting Stacy is the one that's had in the various parts all together it's had over 200,000 views <laughs> but she's beautiful yeah. so you know, it's, it's understandable. And I, because she's a fitness instructor and she's very, very powerfully built, she's so strong. Um, when, when I first met her, she, she taught me Pilates, and when I first met her, I just remember being very aware of, of her structure. 
I mean, most people, when you meet them, you sort of get a, a sense of their personality. And you, you know, the rest of it is sort of packaging, but you're aware of sort of how they think and feel, and you, you get a sense of that. But when you meet very physical people, mm. they're much more whole. You know, you, you, their, their body is part of their personality. How they express themselves through how they move and stand and everything is a vital part of who they are. And I just thought, oh, wow, you are your structure. You are. It's really important. And um, Stacey's one of those people that when, when she's relaxing, she will go on holiday somewhere to do a sports fitness thing. You know, she will go off to... Some relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us will find that relaxing, but yeah. she goes... And she is, everything is about being strong and fit. Mm. And she's yeah, a very powerful person. And she'd have fine, um, she'd have a good um, structure as well. Very yeah, good posture. Very, yeah, very posture. Yeah. Although she said when I when I cast her, the um, if if you go to casting Stacey Four, which most people find very boring, I have people who write rude comments about that one. <laughs> um, Thirty thousand people have viewed it, but they still said what the. Um, but it, it is. Watch. is <laughs> <laughs> but actually, at the end of it, she's um, she's standing and she said, "Wow, this is really interesting." Now I see what my physio sees. Oh. Because you, I think you have very little sense of how you are from the outside. Absolutely. Well, I have pretty good sense actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm quite intrigued so, by your head so Right, let me see if I can move that round without because then we can so so it's she, probably she, really dark. Presumably she didn't have anything put on her, I can't see around the front there, but it's just texture on the front there. There's the the front is actually is that any better? Oh I love compensate all night. Yes. So it's a bit rude us talking about something that people can't, can't see. see. Yeah. Oh, oh actually will you move that pin oh, there for a little bit? There we go. Oh, okay. heavens. <laughs> I've broken it. No, no, the, the lids come off so I can store the packaging inside. There we go. There we go. There I'm bound to knock something over at some point. Oh, try not to. Just look at something cheap. Yeah. Get some light. Yeah. They must be quite nice to light from the inside, are they? Yeah, I had a, a photographer who came along and stuck um. A flash gun on the inside of them mm. at one exhibition, and someone's like, "Okay," and came and took some photographs. Okay, this is this is Stacy. Um, but if you come around here, she, mm. I wanted to make the front of her. So she looks like she's going to fall off. Sorry, you probably can't get past. Darren. One of the problems with being over there, shall I? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, she doesn't stay still very much. I mean, she's one of those people that the first time I cast her, I actually had to ask her to stop moving because really? she's. I find that surprising. She, she, she was she was giggling. She oh. was sort of like she found it, and she talks. She's very. She moves a lot when she's talking, yeah. and and um, and a lot of sports people don't actually stand still at all. If you notice them, like and. Um, it's all the adrenaline, is it, or something? Yeah, or well, I think just... I think that just they're very physical people, and they move a lot anyway, and they express themselves through movement. So they don't stand still; they're not static. Their body is part mm. of the way their language. Well, parties are standing, being static. Yeah, well, positions. yeah, I suppose. But That's the way I'll anyway, do it, she she moves a lot, and oh. um, and when I I put um, I put the clay in the mould. Took it out, so I had her like this, but just solid clay without any markings on. And she looked extraordinarily heavy, you know, like I was saying mm. to you. Because she she's about just over six foot tall. And so she's got very long, fit legs, and she's high up. So she looks incredibly slender when you meet mm. her. But because I cut her off with her widest parts, she looked really quite solid. Mm. And the whole thing looked very still. And... Mm. Um, Actually, at the time, it was you know she was one of my earliest torsos in the style, and I I was actually for a while quite lost about it's not going to work because I mean what I'd made just looked like a um, a beautiful object, which isn't what I want. I want to very much do it about the people and and how they express themselves and what or what they're interested in, and so um, I asked her if she'd mind if I came along to some of her lessons with other people and just drew her mm. so I did lots and lots and lots of drawings and I do drawings like those over there where they're very overlapping oh, okay. 
And so I had lots of drawings of her working out that I then printed out on the computer, enlarged and printed out, and then put them on, overlapping on here, and drew them into the body, and then cut them out. Because I wanted, I didn't want it to be strongly figurative, so you go, oh yes, that, that's her head, that's her head, that, you know, mm -hmm. it was really mm -hmm. clear. So it's the movement. I wanted to get a feeling that when you, so, so a bit of a puzzle, but when you're looking through it, your eyes just keep moving all the time. I mean, mm. I find, you know, sometimes your eyes stop on her nipples because they're sort of like, you know, you'd, you would be drawn to, to something that's obvious and something that's also sexual because mm. that's the way human minds work. Mm. But I found that, um, I, for me anyway, as I'm moving, I move sort of up through her shoulder and down again, like she's almost like she's water. And someone wrote to me and said that they thought that she was um, made of wood you know, she was mm -hmm. made to look like she was made of wood, and these were these were actually things growing up the wood. So she was she was sort of like to do with growth, but no, it's to do with movement. And she looks very nice outside in a garden. If she's put somewhere, you know, some people who own her have put them in, her in woods or in gardens. If she's got sort of dappled light on her, we're not talking about the real her. We're talking about yeah, the no, 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 obviously <laughs> not. No, no, Stacey's not standing around in a, in a wood somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see it now. I can see that, that there's lots of heads and mm. and mm. neck like there. Yeah. If you go, it's um, something you can look at for yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It really. If you go to my website on the first drawings page, there's a small there's a small piece that's actually a cross between a drawing of her and also the drawing for the piece that's up on the top shelf over there, which is um, my hairdresser. Carla and I've cut the design into her hair. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, drawings, drawings very important to me. I think mm. I think you're probably bored by this now. If you can see anything, it's all really black. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry. Bye bye. bye, -bye.